Do you understand fractional exponents? First, let's take a look at a fractional exponent. Here's an example of a base a with a fractional exponent of one half. Now the thing that's interesting to note is that fractional exponents and roots are connected. In fact, we can take a fractional exponent and rewrite it using a root, and we can take a root and rewrite it using a fractional exponent. Fractional exponents and roots are related. Let's take a look at how that works. The square root of 3 converts to 3 and a fractional exponent of 1 half. Square root of x equals x and a fractional exponent of 1 half. So you can see that there's a connection between a simple square root and the fractional exponent of 1 half. We can write it the other way around too. y to the fractional exponent of 1 half is the same thing or is equivalent to the square root of y. How can I write the square root of 7 without a radical? That's a great question. Let's start by writing the square root of 7. We can write it without a radical by using a fractional exponent. We can say 7 to the 1 half power. Sometimes you're going to see a root expression like this one. And we can write this one with a fractional exponent too. We can say that this one is a to the 2 thirds power. So here's our rule. We can take values in a root, like this one, and transform it into a fractional exponent. Notice that the value here becomes our numerator, and the value here becomes our denominator. Can you write this expression using a fractional exponent? We can rewrite that as x to the 3 fourths power. What about this one? We have the cube root of x. Now, even though it isn't written, we can say that there is a 1 here. So we can rewrite this without the root as x to the 1 third power. Can you go the other way around? How can we write this one without the fractional exponent? We can say that this can be written just like this. Here's another one. Can you write the square root of 9 without the root? We can say that the square root of 9 can become 9 to the 1 half power. Just like this, we can go the other way around. We can say 25 to the 1 half power becomes the square root of 25. Here's a very simple way to remember fractional exponents and radicals. Take a minute to write this down into your notebook.